Hi folks, right, we're back and we're still on the snowdrops um, and I've drawn this one out, slightly different detailing, so I've given a little bit of shape to the um, tops of the petals and things. I've got a mixture of overlapping leaves down here and um, I want to put a background on this one. So I want to preserve my flowers, so I'm actually going to be using um, some masking fluid. Now, for anyone that hasn't used this, um, it comes in different colours. I'm I'm just using um, a blue one. This is supplied by the SAA, but I also use one from a company called Pablio. I like the blue one. You can get this in white, in a creamy colour. Um, there's any number of different um, brands and manufacturers out there. I don't recommend using it from the bottle or from the jar that it comes in because it will affect it and when you're dipping your brush in and out it can cause problems so being an extremely expensive sort of person then a milk bottle top best thing ever just put a little bit out put the lid straight back on because while it's open because it's got this um rubbery plasticky sort of um feel to it while it's open and exposed to the air it will actually start to form this skin on it now, the next thing is how you apply it. Well, you can apply this with any number of ways. There is um, there is a, a pen that you can actually use for masking fluid. You can use um, cocktail sticks if you want very thin lines and very thin marks. I'm just going to use um, a paintbrush and I've got another milk bottle top here. Good old milk bottle tops. And in it, it's got some dried washing up liquid. When you're using a brush, the important thing is that you have to protect the brush because this is a, a rubbery solution. The minute it's exposed to your brush, it will actually um, dry and um, congeal inside the bristles and it's almost impossible to get out. So the way around that problem is to use some soap on the brush before you touch it to the masking fluid. Now, I tend to try and do the whole thing in one go without washing my brush. But if you do have to wash your brush, just remember that you must reapply the soap to it. So this is all and I've, I've squished it. So as I say, this is just washing up liquid. Put some in the milk bottle top and leave it on your windowsill till it dries out. And then you can reactivate at any time you need by just adding a little bit of water. Now I've squished this right up into the heel of the brush so that if I do get the masking up there, it's not going to ruin the brush. And all you want to do then is pick it up on your brush and apply it. Now, you don't want to apply this too thin. If it's too thin, what will happen is that when you come to peel it off, you'll have areas that it's missed and uh, the paint will get through it. The whole idea of using a masking fluid is so that it actually protects the white. So you want a good layer of it on and you just want to mask out anything that you want to preserve as white or keep it as a lighter colour so that you can paint it after you've done the background. We're going to be putting quite a dark background on this. So ideally, I want to try and ensure that all, all, all the plant, all the flower and the stem, everything is masked out. Sometimes um, if you're doing a light background, you don't have to worry about... Um, masking out the stems but on this one I want a background that's quite dark behind it so that actually means that I have to mask it all out because otherwise I will struggle then to get lights and darks coming into the stems because everything will just be covered in the background colour. So I'm going to carry on and just cover all of this so you can see here I've got quite a pool of it try not to pull it too thin because all that will happen is that it won't provide sufficient protection to your drawing and then the paint will get through and you will struggle afterwards to get it back out. So I am going to put this all over my, um, my drawing and um, even onto the leaves. 
again as we've said before where you've got these intersections so where you've got the um the stems intersecting each other or crossing over you've got to decide which one which one goes on top and which one goes under this will remove some of your pencil lines not all of it by any means so just try and have it in your mind which one goes where right, i'm going to carry on with this and fill them all in and then on the next video we're going to come back and we're going to paint the background so i'll um i'll let you go get your drawing done get your masking fluid and um join me ready for the next uh, ready for the next video and uh, we'll paint that together bye